Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today I am playing some more The Sims 2, Sims 2, Sims for Seasons. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Looks like Thimble did some, uh, oh, okay, medical, the medical mysteries, I guess. Cassie is just taking a shower. Like, what the hell are you doing? I am just not okay with this. I'm to go over to Marcus and also ask him to go away. I'm do the same thing. I'm kind of going to argue with him and tell him, like, he's been doing this so often he just gets into my house when i'm busy makes himself at home uses my stuff and then just leave like these neighbors are so rude and i honestly cannot believe that we have to live next to them cassie is so not a person that's rude or mean or kind of aggressive in that sense but damn you do not come into someone's house without them inviting you over and make yourself at home. That's just not normal. Oh my god. I'm feeling really uncomfortable and I managed to really upset my neighbors. But you know, I don't owe you anything. You come into my apartment, my domain, and you're doing whatever the heck you want. That's not how it's going to go with us. I'm gonna call from Miko asking if we perhaps wanted to take care of her kids for the day. She's meeting up with her ex-husband and the father of her triplet. I need a reason to get out of the house, maybe spend some time with my, you know, my nieces, my nephews, well, you know, it will, it will do me well. The kids should be over soon, I'm definitely going to do something about these people walking into my house like it's their possession. I'm going to lock my door for everyone but my household members and hopefully this stops the stalkers getting into my place. I'm also going to do a load of laundry, just kind of get everything done for the day, all my chores so I can just focus on the kids and have a good time. And I guess they'll be over whenever. Uh, she didn't really specify a time, she just said they will be there shortly. Kind of like the basic things you would do, I guess, before meeting people. At least I would make sure that like, I used the bathroom and uh, I did like my chores so I could just, you know, can I kind of take those off my list of duties for the day? Other kids and can he he just he, whatever fuck it. It looks like Oregon is actually asking Cassie for some advice. I got in a fight with someone at school about which void creator is more powerful. I said it was the Arctic Corn, but he kept saying Centaur. Which one is it? The Arctic Corn, of course. Oh my god, everyone is asking her for advice. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Eating dirt is really unhealthy. Cassius advised Orion affecting his character values, um, his emotional control increased, and uh, Phoebe... Uh, Phoebe's manners increase. So it's nice they're actually helping out. I mean, it doesn't happen very often that we're, you know, doing a good job like that. <laughs> like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's a good feeling to know that we're doing something right. So I don't want to spend time with the kids indoors. I'm just going to check their knees real quick, make sure nobody needs the bathroom or anything. And um, let's go out. I think Cassie's going to propose to go out. Maybe the kids want to do something fun. Staying indoors is really not the most fun. So. Um, at least for children. I don't think many children would love to be inside when it snows. I think they all want to go outside and have snowball fights. Just a tiny bit. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what happens. Okay. I don't think the city life is really meant for children. I think that personally, I don't, I don't see many, many places for children to play. However, I think we just have to make the best of it. And this is also one of the reasons that Cassie does not want to settle here because she doesn't feel like there is enough for these children to do. Besides, this little place over here, there's actually, um, I'm going to have them come here because this is like the only place that actually has like a playground. And there is a fountain over here which they can play in. Um, or well, actually, they can't really play in it, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what Auntie Nana is saying. Really nice. There's someone making music over there, and someone selling some drinks, and some pigeons. I actually really love the cool tone of the winter. I think it's such a relaxing vibe. Kids are out late. Oh my God, <laughs> it looks like Cassie has decided to play. The monster? I think she's playing the monster. Yes, she's playing the sea monster. She's playing with the kids. She's honestly doing a great job. She is a great auntie, honestly. She is just amazing. She's great. And the kids absolutely love her. And I, I can totally see her having kids in the future, honestly. But just right now, I don't think it's in there. She's obviously kind of worrying about her friend and um, funny things. So I told you that... 
he was um, the ex of, oh my gosh, what is he wearing? He's <laughs> the ex, um, Norris, I'll call him Norris because his first name is kind of like hard to pronounce. Who the heck is their name? And he got Miko pregnant. He was dating Safana and Cassia at the same time, having a triangle relationship with the best friends. The friends, the three friends had no clue he was dating one another, but he was. He was seeing all three of them at once, and it was just the most ridiculous thing. Miko got pregnant, and she got triplets. Like, I don't know how she did it, but she got triplets. Never cared much for the children, and it's really sad to see that. Luckily, neither Cassie or Savannah got pregnant, but they both ditched him. All of them ditched the dude, and now it seems like Miko is trying to patch things up between her and Norris for the sake of the children. She doesn't feel comfortable bringing her children around him yet because they don't really know their dad. But I think she's trying to make the first step into giving them a chance to meet their father. And I think it's important because even though he's a douche to her, he's a douche to Cassie and Savannah, he could be a really good father. And I don't think we should take away his father potential because... He's an ass. True way of thinking because I guess a lot of people would say, well, he's rude to me. He doesn't deserve to be around the kids, but that's not in the best interest of the children whatsoever. So I think that, you know, she's trying to patch things up mainly and only for the kids, solely for the children, because I know that she would never, ever take him back. And we haven't seen Norris in such a long time, honestly. It's been so long since we've last seen him. It's a good thing because I don't really like him that much anymore like he cheated on me technically he cheated like three times he, he cheated three times it's getting rather late snowball fight time for the kids to go back home mom hasn't texted yet so the kids are gonna have to come back to Cassie's place and probably stay the night unless she comes and picks them up Cassie probably also has to take them to school in the morning but we'll see he had um, this like a fold-up bed somewhere um between her butt cheeks, drinking some coffee, thinking, my gosh, this is a long night. It's almost, it's almost half past, oh my god, it's almost half past one. It's half past one. It's been half past one. It's crazy. Faith feeling like, oh, I'm, I just, I just needed a moment to myself. It's gonna, oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> what was the noise? So nice. She is so sweet with the children. Just look at it. She's just making sure that things are going right. Cassie has this kind of secure vibe and... I think in a way it makes them feel very comfortable sleeping in her place. And Cassie's kind of like, meh, like I'm, I'm not used to this. I, I feel a little weird. Suddenly I have all these people in my house and I was alone for like the whole entire month and now there's like so many people. It's just kind of unusual for her. So I'm going to unload and set the laundry, do some chores before I actually go to sleep myself. I have to be up in like five hours, get the girls, or the girls, get the kids. Sorry, sorry dudes. Sorry dudes, I didn't mean that. Almost 7 a.m. and the kids need to go to school. She is about to fall asleep. Her eyes keep closing. The kids are eating their breakfast standing, having barely any time to gobble up this pie. Probably see each other soon, maybe with the holidays. So they kind of all leave in their pajamas, totally normal, whatever. They're kids. Kids do whatever they want anyway. Welcome by the sound of her phone. Miko called her to ask her how it went with the children and if she perhaps can come over because she has some things she needs to get off her chest and she doesn't know who else to tell but Cassie because Cassie's like one of her best friends and she honestly is like, like, I need you right now. I need you. I need you. I need you here. You need to be here. Please come. Please come see me. I'm desperate. Make sure that everything is kind of taken care of. I'm gonna fill up the bowl for my kitty cat and clean the litter box. I don't really care much about the the laundry. I honestly don't think it really matters much whether I do that or not. But as long as I kind of clean up the place, I told you, like, we need to have a clean place. Cassie loves being clean. Honestly, she just needs it. Okay, she needs a new life. Don't judge me. We need a clean house. We just need. We need. We need. Okay, I'll be okay i guess she didn't feel like her flowers anymore and she's like threw them away what what are you crazy I don't see me go anywhere and i'm kind of like oh what like why i love i honestly love her apartment though miko has come home look your kids are inside i don't know what you wanted to tell me but maybe it's best if we just do it right here and 
she's totally agreeing saying yes i really think we should stay here for the moment i am um, sorry i took a little longer i had a little accident with milo but uh, everything is fine now so i'm gonna have the two of them sit and chat over there on the couch next to the elevator in the hall this dude i don't really care about him so he can just stay here all he wants as long as the children don't hear because he's kind of trying to break the ice saying hey uh, miko so what, what how did it go yesterday what is the big thing you wanted to tell me so she's kind of i guess easing into it saying well you know um i went out with uh you know with her ex our common ex is it awkward like i think it'll be awkward i mean cassie's like you're thinking like yeah it would be awkward so it turns out that yesterday when they met uh she tried to kind of break the ice. she's like saying well yesterday it was it was Cassie, hold up. Cassie's going to the bathroom. You know how hard it is to do a storyline when your sims are like, no, I don't want to go and have a storyline. I just want to sit in peace. Saying, you know, I have a feeling he has other kids. And I don't know if I can have my kids around them when I know he has other kids that he probably pays more attention to than to my kids. I think it's going to break the heart of my children. Like, and I don't know how, you know, he, he lives like a pig. He is a pig. I just, I just don't know how to deal with that. Like, I just, I just don't. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to... How am I going to let my kids into into this world of disappointment? Because that's what's going to be. It's going to just be full of disappointment and false promises. And he lies. He's just like a, he, he always lies. He's like I just have this strong feeling he has other kids, and I don't know why. I just I just have this strong sense of feeling. He just everything around his apartment scream children. And if he's not interacting with mine, then whose kids is it? And he's like, well. I don't know if he has any kids, but I do know that, you know, he was with Isabel, and I'm not saying anything happened, but, you know, maybe, maybe he got his new girlfriend pregnant. And two of them are kind of like, I don't know, trying to laugh it off and say, well, who would, what? who would go with that sad dude? Like, who would, who would, who would want a baby from that sad dude? I guess the story is continuing on in one of the children's room. Um, I guess he kind of had to come upstairs because he's sitting in the hall talking for too long. It's just kind of like, nah, I don't know about that. Like, we're just kind of, you know, discussing the situation, wondering what to do. Because if he does really have kids, uh, I can understand Miko's frustration and I want to help her. I just don't know how, but I... I really want to help her and Miko is obviously like she has all the right to be concerned because you don't want your kids to grow up knowing that their dad doesn't like them but he likes other children and they don't even know their mom and pretend that nothing happened and I know Cassie can't really give the best advice but she promised her friend that she would try and help her out as much as she could maybe go and talk to him herself maybe try to spend some time with him and I know like do some detective work when you're talking and you forget that your webcam my webcam my microphone isn't on see you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part bye guys